Charlie, another iconic whiskey brand, undoubtedly. A little bit different for us. Um, this is JD, Jack Daniels. Um, <laughs> this is really a, a, something a little bit unusual for us. We've just done but, a range of old expressions. But, but... It, the, it is iconic. Do you know, mm. of the top 10 whiskey brands in the world, best selling by mm. volume, yeah. um, only three are not Indian. That's the first thing. And the only three are Johnny Walker, Jack Daniels and Jim Beam. Yeah. And oh. so it, it is, it, it's, a, it's a global brand. Yeah. It, it's one of these things that I think before I was drinking whiskey, I'd heard the name I... or the term Jack Daniels. I'll be honest, I've not had it neat. I don't think I've ever had it neat. No, they tend to drink it with <laughs> rice and things. And, and it was always a Jack and Coke no, that's has nice. been the classic serve before anybody was drinking whiskey. You'd, you'd heard about it, you'd seen yeah. it everywhere. A Tennessee whiskey, we use the term whiskey all the time, that does fall under the category of whiskey. Uh, Tennessee whiskey, Jack Daniels is 80% corn. Yes. So, very sweet. Yeah. Um, I'm a liker, I, I, I'm somebody who drinks American whiskey. I do drink Kentucky bourbons fairly often. Um, and I like them because they're not all that complicated and generally quite sweet and vanilla forward. Yep. Um, what's your experience drinking Jack Daniels? Do you have much? I do, actually. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't... Dare I say it? I don't. I don't drink American whiskey out of choice unless I'm in America. Mm. Um, you know, I prefer Scotch. But the the I often am asked to review American whiskeys, including or, or straight bourbons and rice, yeah. including um, Jack Daniels, um, for usually for Whiskeria magazine. Yeah. The, the when when JD produces. Special event. Yeah, so we, we have the, the old number seven, which is a kind of classic expression, but they do single barrels, they do they do rye whiskey at Jack Daniels. What I find extraordinary about Jack Daniels is it's made in a dry county. Yeah, I know, I know. Isn't that bonkers? It's crazy, it really I is. What would a dry county in Scotland look like? <laughs> well, I, don't, I can't imagine. I think an abandoned <laughs> village is, is, is a term that we would use. Um, OK, I'm going to pour it. There's no oh. point over overthinking it. Um, but Jack Daniels, Charlie McLean, see what you think. And, you know, I'm going to try and give it a proper go. I want to approach Same this. Here. I'm going to give it a proper approach like I would do some of these crazy, fantastic old bottlings we've done. Um, the presentation's iconic. It is. It's, it's a very clever because it's a, it's a combination of um, old-fashioned style and contemporary thing because they, 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 they made their, their reputation in the 1960s by being associated with rock and roll, mm. you know, you know, um, you, know pe you know, artists holding clutch or having having JD on the on the piano or whatever. I think you it hear is. about it all the time. These old kind of lead singers or performers in some of the most iconic bands in the world. And I don't think they were paid very much. In no, this case. they no. just got free booze. Yeah, you know, which I bet back then I think they've been pretty happy with. I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's forty percent alcohol. Forty percent um, sour mash whiskey. As I say, they're, they're open enough to disclose that it's 80% um, corn. They do a kind of unusual maple um, charcoal filtration. They do. Which is something a bit different as well. They do. The sugar maple charcoal. So the, 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 the process, it's a sort of mix of... The, the, they've got a, a pot still, but with a, what they call a doubler, I think, on it. OK. And so it's a combination, it's a lighter style of spirit than, than Scotch malt. And the... Um, um, then they put that through this. Is it called the the something county process? The okay. the, the uh, uh, this 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 bed of of maple charcoal, a, 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 a filter. But then the other key contributor to the the flavour of of straight bourbon, straight rye, and Tennessee whiskeys. Tennessee whiskeys is really mm. very similar. They're, they're, they're to, so to, aligned, to aren't they? Bourbon, it's just, yeah. yeah, is that they have to be matured in first fill virgin oak, yeah. American oak, barrels, 200-litre barrels. Which means very young spirit, doesn't taste incredibly young. And no, actually can right. be, and can be quite approachable. So, you know, three-, four-year-old Tennessee whiskey, bourbon, rye, yeah. it's kind of where most of the stuff's bottled. Jim Beam is the other example you yeah. gave. Yeah. In terms of volume, they're able to create a consistent product it's yeah. just, let's give this it's a relatively go. Relatively short, and that, that's also to do with the climate, both mm. the activity of the cask, ferocious activity, very active casks, and the, you know, high space, best certainly in Kentucky, and I'm assuming Tennessee as well. Yeah, massive, it's, it's, massive warehouses, it's, it's, 10 racks yeah, higher. But, but, you know, very, very hot summers, very cold winters. 
Well, let's give it a go. It's one of those things. Right. I've seen it in every bar I've gone in, but I very rarely drank it. So let's Gosh. give it a go. See what we think on the nose. Well, it is oaky. Um, and by which I mean... Yeah, I'm getting kind of oak shavings top notes, um, like fresh, sappy oak. OK. There's lots of sweetness, of course. There is, there is, a, there is sweetness, but it's not cereal. It's, I'm not picking up cereal, either maize or, um, or rather corn, as they call mm. it, um, or... Um, there's almost, for me, a kind of artificial banana foams. Yes. It's, it's kind of a very yeah. old retro kind I'll, of I'll retro go with confectionery. That. There's banana chews mm. in it. Mm. And it's funny because people probably don't give Jack Daniels this much thought and this much time, but actually, it's a very welcoming nose. <laughs> it's opening up now. I'm getting, I'm getting vanilla, caramel... Mm. Um, I mean, typical, it's all typical America. Very, very oak driven, you know. It's got a little okay. taste. Sweet. Yeah. Then rapidly drying into all these oaky vanilla coconut. It's interesting because it's sweet Toffee times notes. 1,000 at the, at the front of the palate. Yeah. It's so in-your-face sweet. But, yeah, it, it's actually... It does develop at the back of the palate. It does, it does. <laughs> it, 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 it dries out a bit, and then it's a very rapid finish. Yeah. it's. Uh, I can understand why it's so popular. I think I've had it on flights to the US. I've certainly had it um, in mixed drinks. Now... I feel like we'd be doing it a disservice if we didn't have it in their kind of most famous classic serve. Absolutely. So if you reach over to your left, we have <laughs> pre-arranged. <laughs> now, any Coca-Cola will do, but uh, I'll put a wee bit more jack in here. original taste? <laughs> With the old number seven. So let's uh, let's give ourselves a little jack and go. This is how it's done, right? This is... This is how the rock stars would have had it. Well, and if we are, we are nothing if we are not whiskey rock stars, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is you have to remember that these whiskies are designed to be drunk with mm. Coca-Cola. Yeah, and, and and so you know people can't really criticise because when you're trying these products, you have to have a bit of perspective. Yeah, you know, it's very affordable. It's a mixed drink, and it is probably quite a good stepping stone into the world of whiskey, no matter who you are. It's very dominated by that. I mean, maybe I put too much <laughs> coke in. It's very dominated. It smells like coke, coke to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not overly surprised at the smell of coke, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, so, it's almost a, overbearingly sweet. Yeah. But also, I this is why it's popular. Yeah. And, I spend, yeah. and you're right. The youth that are drinking are getting into spirits are probably drinking Jack and Coke. Yeah. All yeah. all over the world, you Absolutely. know. You can understand. You can understand why. I mean, it's, it's a very pleasant drink, but really, and you need to have because it is. It is this oak forward in the when mm. you're tasting it straight, but the um, you you really can't. And you need you, you couldn't you couldn't put a scotch and coke doesn't work. It no, blend scotch. It ruins the scotch and it ruins you, coke. You could actually use a, a very very smoky. Um, Oh, the old I, smoky, I, I cokey. Yeah. smoky cokey. Smoky cokey yeah, was yeah. Like, there was a like, kind of lag of and coke. Oh, that's right. That was a marketing <laughs> idea which didn't go anywhere. But it's funny, we're talking about it now, so <laughs> credit to them. Um, but something a bit different for, for you and I to do a Jack and Coke in our Glen Cairns, which I don't think is the standard vessel for Jack and Coke. But I get it. It's sweet, it's approachable. Um, it's yeah. a world renowned brand, and, yeah. and we know why. Yeah. Something Quite different for the bevy videos for us. Anybody in the comments, let us know what you think of a Jack and Coker. How do you have your Jack Daniels? <laughs> It'd be quite interesting <laughs> to see what you think. Cheers, Charlie. Cheers, Ross. Great.
If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more bevy content. We want to hear what you think, your best whiskey experiences, the whiskies you want us to try. It's a really exciting journey we're on, so make sure to join us. Download the Bevy app on Google Play and App Store to keep track of your whiskey journey, connect with your whiskey friends, keep track of your favourites, anything you could ever want to do with whiskey, all in one place. It's the definitive whiskey combined.